o'clock in the afternoon. I've been on the internet trying to find the Ray Marine uh, outlet in Vancouver. So I'm heading down the boat now and I'm going to drop this stuff off. And I can probably just go to the Mexican consulate, the American embassy and the French embassy to try and get some paperwork organised because this, I'm sort of going down the same track as what I was on Thursday and it's kind of frustrating with three days to go. We're nearly there. parts of um, trying to do this in another country without any car or any of that sort of shit. I've only got this bag. And you know, you you go from North Van, you try to get into the city, pick stuff up, and I've got this stuff from the coast, basically because I know where all the stores are and it's easy for me to get around. Every time I need something, I've got to Google it and do whatever, but, you know, all these projects all over the boat now, like, it's just fucking, I need a good couple of days even just to install all this shit, but at the moment I've just been loading it and loading it and loading it, and so that's the orbital sander to try and take back some of that um, paint on the uh, berth, if we get there, and they've got a, uh, like a disposable uh, coveralls. I managed to pick up a tap and die set for repairs on the mast, and boom, which I'm really excited about actually. Fishing gear. I've got a breathing apparatus for when I do all the sanding and that. Found a couple of these that are, hopefully they're going to catch me in uh, my dinner. Got a new build, or oh, second hand bilge pump as a spare because, you know, I need it. Yeah, are we charging? I don't think we are. Fuck, it's not charging. Oh, I'm going to go check to make sure that I'm charging. I can't hear it. And then I'm going to head out to Olympic Village and uh, see what's going on there. Alright, here we are again at Steve's. Going to give it another go. Cool marketing. Yeah, the old Auto Helm 5000 yeah. has lost its brain. Yeah. It won't hold a course and, and it just it pulls hard over yeah. and it's so dangerous. Yeah. 2262. Um, it's exceeding my day limit, so I need okay. to pay 1300 in cash, okay. and then the rest is on the card, right? Oh, okay, okay. All right, now they know I'm fucking serious. That's how you do it. Too bad I'm fucking half broke. Um, it only leaves me with about two and a half grand left. And that's pretty scary. You know, a thousand bucks for the other, the life raft, it would be about 1500 I reckon. This auto helm was 200 bucks more than what I thought I'd be paying, but by the time I order it from the US, and like I want everything on the boat, ready to go, sea trialled up, I want to iron out all the wrinkles on the way down to the Gulf Islands. I don't want to be in the Gulf Islands and need to buy stuff and then have to wait and then uh, all that other stuff. So as terrifying as it is, I'm pretty happy. Now I've just got to lock this thing back to the boat.
as to how I'm going to eat on this trip. How I'm going to eat the bond. Because right now, I've just blown the fucking budget out of the window. Once I get a life raft and, you know, pay the sail maker. And then put all the hard rigging into the, the boom or for the reefing system. I'm going to have fucking no money left. And, like, where's the line? Where's the... Where does it go from being an adventure to absolute pure stupidity? I don't know. So if you want to leave a comment, leave a comment on that. What happens if something goes wrong with the boat? I need, I need uh, maintenance. I don't know. It's like 7 o'clock in the morning. I'm not really, I'm still not sure where I'm going to go tonight. I might actually have to stay at Wendy and Steve's again tonight on the coast, so I'm going to have to get the ferry back over there. Either that, or I just fucking sleep out the front of the, which I might actually think about doing. Well, I guess I found a spot last night. It's not ideal. My biggest problem at the moment is that guy. It's a sprinkle ahead in this garden. It's probably gonna get me a bit wet. It's four o'clock in the morning on the 29th. We'll see how we go today.